In this video, we're going to look at um, how we can perturb some of these acid-base equilibria. And so we're going to use the example of a weak acid. We have HA plus H2O gives H3O plus plus A minus, and this could be any weak acid. So we're going to think of some possible ways of messing up this equilibrium and seeing if we can shift it in either direction. So one possibility would be to um, add an acid. So what would happen if we threw in some HCl, for example, or this could be HNO3 or whatever. Um, the question is, is what will this do to, the equal, to our equilibrium of the HA plus H2O is in equilibrium with H3O plus and A minus? So the first thing we have to think about is, well, what's going to happen when we put the HCl into water? HCl is a strong acid, and so when we add it to water, it's going to immediately ionize into H3O plus aqueous and Cl minus aqueous. And we're going to get uh, a 100% conversion because it's strong. So in essence, what the strong acid does is increases the concentration of H3O plus. And so what we're going to get is we're going to get an increase in pH immediately. I'm sorry, a decrease in pH immediately. We're going to become more acid. So that's always an important thing to do is whenever you add something to a solution, if you're adding an acid, you're going to lower the pH. If you're adding a base, you're going to raise the pH, right? So that's something to kind of think about. So we're going to increase the H3O plus concentration and com consequently decrease the pH. So if we increase the H3O plus concentration, we know from Le Chatelier's principle that if we bump that right-hand side up, meaning we increase the concentration on the right, we're going to cause this equilibrium to shift to the left. So this is going to push the equilibrium left and we're going to kind of shift things in, we're going to shift things back toward uh, HA. So this, what this is going to do is this is going to increase the concentration of HA and it's going to decrease the concentration of A minus. And you're, you might be tempted to say, well, it's also going to decrease the concentration of H3O plus. It's not. The concentration of H3O plus, because we have the strong acid hanging around, that strong acid is going to control the pH. So, because the strongest acid of all is going to be the strong acid. So, it's going to kind of come in there like the bully and say, I'm going to set the pH, regardless of what this weak acid is doing. And we're going to actually see this mathematically with the approximation. Even though the, the reaction will shift to the left, it's going to be so small relative to that concentration of H3O plus from the strong acid that it's going to approximate away to nothing. So the strong acid is going to control that H3O plus. And we're going to take a look at an actual question where we see this. We're going to have a question where we have some, some strong acid that's present um, in a solution with a weak acid. So our second possibility is, is we could add some conjugate base, A minus. And so if our equilibrium is HA plus H2O is an equilibrium with A minus and H3O plus, if we increase the concentration of A minus, this is gonna, that's gonna pump up the right-hand side and it's gonna shift our equilibrium to the left. So let's think about what's gonna, what's gonna happen. Okay, so what's gonna happen if we add some A minus? Well, the first thing is we're adding a base. So we're definitely gonna increase the pH relative to if just the strong acid were around. That's important to always remember that. When you add a little bit of base, it's always gonna raise the, um, it's always gonna uh, raise the pH just a little bit. Um, and it's gonna cause the reaction to shift to the left. So we're going to take a little bit of that H3O plus out of solution, raising the pH. So that's the effect of a uh, adding the A minus. And then there's another possibility. We could also add a strong base, like NaOH. And so in this case, when you add a strong base, what's going to happen is, is we have our HA hanging around. And now we have the possibility for it to react with two bases. Uh, it could react with the H2O, which it's been doing, or it can react with the OH- minus from the NaOH. Now, because OH- minus is the stronger base, the minute we put strong base in, this reaction is going to go forward, and it's going to go forward to 100% products. So we're going to make A- minus plus H2O. 
So in essence, when we add strong base, what's happening is, and this is this goes to 100% products because the OH minus is a strong base. So in, in essence, adding a strong base is the same thing as increasing the concentration of A minus. So adding a strong base is equivalent to add, is equivalent to increasing the concentration of A minus. So H, the concentration of HA is going to go down a little bit. The concentration of A minus is going to go up. Because we're adding a base, our pH is going to go up. And we're going to now have an equilibrium mixture where we have HA and A minus. And so whether you add A minus directly or you add a strong base, both of those cases are pumping up the right hand side a little bit and are going to shift the reaction left. And so when it re-equilibrates, it's going to have HA plus H2O uh, is in equilibrium with A minus and H3O plus, except now we have a little bit more A minus present in the solution. And it turns out that these two cases are what we call buffers. And buffers are basically defined as solutions that contain mixtures of HA and A minus where the A minus concentration is raised up from the equilibrium concentration. So we're going to talk about buffers in the next slide, but these are the possible outcomes from Le Chatelier's, from Le Chatelier's principle. We could have one outcome where we add uh, an acid, we could have an outcome where we add some conjugate base, or we ha can have an outcome where we add a strong base. And so all of these outcomes are going to lead to different uh, effects on the equilibrium. And um, we're going to see these examples mathematically in the upcoming slides.